used photo bucket in the past or maybe you're just looking at options to manage your digital photo collection More than 90 million people have used PhotoBucket since 2004, storing over 15 billion pictures. They're huge. But are they the right solution for your family photo collection? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Molly Bartelt. I'm a photo estate planner with Pixology. We are your go-to experts for evaluating memory-saving apps, software, tools, and so much more. Definitely check out the description below for resources, links, and information about how you can save your family photos. It's a journey. So you want to know more about Photo Bucket. It truly has been around a long time, over 15 years. They're a giant in the industry. And in the beginning, it seems like they evolved so that people could store their pictures and actually easily embed their pictures in blogs and websites. And it evolved into just a general photo storage site. A few years ago, Photo Bucket updated its terms and conditions, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about how that went over. In my overview of 20 photo management programs, I list Photo Bucket as easy and potentially promising. If you haven't seen that overview of the 20 programs, click the link above because after seeing this video, you might want to know what the other options are. In my initial testing of Photo Bucket, I found it pretty easy to use and I, I liked the simple interface. Before diving into its features though, I thought I'll check out some of the online reviews. I went online to see what people were saying and I have never seen so many negative reviews about a photo management company, like website after website, poor reviews. And it's really shocking that they're still around after all of these troubles. It seems to stem, like I mentioned from a few years ago, when Photo Bucket changed its terms. It used to be a free uh, site, and then they began charging a monthly subscription. During the transition, which I think happened way too fast, people were caught unawares, there were photos that were lost, access was denied, and that is extremely upsetting, I'm sure you can imagine. The lesson here is that any online photo management company can change its pricing, its terms, its conditions. Some of them even go out of business. This is why I like to have a program installed on my computer where I have control of my software and my photos. If you're looking for an option like that, also up above I have a link for Mylio, which is one of the programs I recommend that installs on your computer. Photo bucket ranges from six to $13 a month, depending on how much storage you need and a few other features. So let's talk about photo bucket. Let's look at it and see if it's worth overcoming all of the objections and concerns that people have mentioned in the online reviews. We are in my photo bucket account and I've uploaded a couple hundred pictures here. The left-hand panel, typically you'll see kind of the navigation pane and I've clicked on my bucket. This is everything in my bucket. You can see I've got four albums and then I have loose pictures below that. Uploads, self-explanatory, you can add an album. I have four albums listed here and this eye with the line through it means that they are not for public viewing. In the top rows here you have some icons let's talk about here's that eye with the line through it i don't want to make my album public so i'm gonna just leave it the way it is album previews is kind of handy maybe if you want to see your pictures without the albums when i click the album previews it shows the pictures that are in the albums and i like this look you can sort by date taken by date uploaded and A to Z. I also think this is handy. You can change the view from days to months and this is sorted by date uploaded. Let's look at date taken. 
and that might be a little easier but you know I, I have in my collection thousands of pictures I can't imagine scrolling through like that I'm gonna go back to days the little slider bar allows you to resize your image preview which is handy as well across the top here you can see when you select a picture you can share there's an image editor you can edit the details move to an album download delete and then there is hashtags that you can work with and lastly a slideshow and then really lastly you can order prints so that's the overview of the photo bucket interface it's clean and pretty simple Next, I like to dive into four essential things I think a photo management program needs. The very first one is you need to be able to organize by albums or folders, and clearly, Photo Bucket meets this. So, I already showed you that I have four photo albums. I'm going to click uh, Add Album, and then I'm going to change the name to 2002 Pick, Pick Photos. And then I'm gonna go scroll down here. I know I had some 2002 pictures. Let's just see here they are. When I click the first one, hold the shift key down and select the last one, it selects all the pictures in between. I'm gonna drag these pictures into the 2002 photo album. And apparently I have to do it twice. This is not the first time that has happened, but I think this will work now. Yes. So the pictures have been moved, and if I scroll up to the top, now I have five photo albums. All right, the second feature that is essential for a photo management program to have is the ability to edit metadata. So I'm gonna just scroll down here to the bottom. I have this photo that's dated December 31st, 1817. I literally have no idea how this got that date on there because photography wasn't invented at that early, at least in the way you see it in this picture. So I wanna change the date, but there's no way to change the date. I did earlier change the title and the description, and I added the Harms family tag. Those are the types of things that metadata includes. You want to be able to edit the date, and you want to add the title, description, and a tag. And you want that to stick when you download the photo. So I'm going to download this photo, and then you can see here, the metadata doesn't stick and it doesn't even matter because I couldn't change the date that is not an 1817 photo but I don't even have the option to try to fix it the third criteria is we need to be able to back up the photo collection and I mean a backup in the house and outside of the house that's two photo bucket does have an app where you can back up your pictures from your smartphone to the photo bucket cloud but there's no automatic feature that downloads your pictures to your computer so you have a copy in the house i did find that when i'm in the my bucket view if i select everything um, and i'm just holding that shift key down and apparently there we go i'm holding the shift key down and I can select the albums and all the pictures. So everything's selected. I can click the download button and Photo Bucket does allow me to download. And that is handy, I will say that. But um, it doesn't automatically do it and that's a problem because who of us have good habits and routinely <laughs> back up our photos if we don't have an automatic feature that does it for us? The fourth essential thing about a photo management program is I have to like using it. I want you to like using it because that means maybe you'll have a half a chance of using it routinely, monthly if not weekly. And with Photo Bucket, I really don't like it. Overall, I know it's clean, but these um, eyes with the lines through it, I think that's kind of odd looking. And when I, when I click on a picture, well, let's go to this hunting picture. I actually tagged it with hunting, and when I click the tag, I expect to see all the pictures I've tagged with hunting, my pictures. But when I click it, it takes me to someone else's pictures, and, and that is not good. 
So I don't like using photo bucket overall. I could not imagine managing my 20,000 plus photo collection here. I just don't, I don't like it that much. There are a few other features that photo management programs need to have and photo bucket has a couple of them. You can edit a photo. There's a lot of editing features and you can share a photo or an album pretty easily as well. There is no facial recognition, which is really helpful when you have a lot of pictures to organize and figure out the who's who in them. And lastly, Photo Bucket does upload duplicates. It doesn't catch them, even if they have the same name. I'm sure you can guess, overall, Photo Bucket rates very low on my scale. It gets one out of four for the essential features that I think are really important for a program. And when you combine it with all of those terrible reviews, and some of these are quite recent, it's not a good situation. You might like using Photo Bucket. If you do, leave a comment below because I know I'll be interested and you might help someone else make a decision about how they want to save their family photos. I sure hope you liked this overview. If you did, give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe because we're uploading new videos routinely to help you save your family photo collection. That's it for now. We'll see you the next time.